to get the ice. <laughs> but it's, you know. Guys, <laughs> welcome to the Fast Lane Lifestyle. With the Powells, Alicia Powell and Asafa Powell. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Alicia Powell, the supermodel. Asafa oh, Powell, please. the super fast man. <laughs> <laughs> well, I yeah, guess we're, we're in super shades today. Yeah, we're in super we're shades. Shady. You know? yeah, the thing is, you know. You seem like you're thirsty. You sick. want some water? My wife, mm, I kind of want some water, yeah. but I'm fine now. I don't want to know. Your, I don't want any pink eye water. You see this? Okay. <laughs> be thirsty. Be you, you, parched you over have there. Pink eye. Yeah, pink eye. So you have to wear the glasses. So I'm wearing my glasses. You know, I so cannot. so we just even out the the thing. You know, we even it out. You're just copying me. That's it. No, we even it out. Uh huh. But we are here to talk about. You know, we we started our YouTube page. Mm-hmm. You know, during Amik. Pregnancy with Amik. Mm, um, no, no we, 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 right we started after. the page, but we, did, we, we weren't active. We started officially in 2020 yeah. during the pandemic. Yeah, during the pandemic. Yeah. Yeah, but we we were getting requests to start a YouTube page from Instagram. People were saying, yo, why don't you guys start a YouTube page? Because I was always messing mm. with Alicia. Always giving her a hard time. You know, I was just always that person. Yeah, you know especially I mean? during the time when I was pregnant with Amik. That's when he would post me closer mm-hmm. to when I was going to go into labor. So, you know, waddling, being uncomfortable, walking laps around the house. And he was posting it. And Stress out. Yeah. So, <laughs> and then I think in 2020, it was also a great way for us to like cope with the pandemic and have something to do and keep us distracted from, you know, anything else that we were dealing with, whether internally or externally so it was it was a great way Mm -hmm. and first I was like really camera shy and like I would say even still to this day I'm not really used to you're still not the youtuber yeah I just yeah yeah, it's really it's really not me and I know a lot of people um if you're new to our our podcast our vlogs all of that stuff like probably you met me when i was pregnant and Mm -hmm. um grumpy or (laughs) Mm -hmm. but yeah i'm still not used to it but i think i've adjusted but Mm -hmm. i don't think we probably didn't even realize like how um we would form a whole big community like this you know of people that love us Mm -hmm. of our kids of our family dynamic people that um Sincerely, I, like, look I, up to us. I think even up, even until this day, I still don't really know how to use YouTube properly. Because mm-hmm. I think we're not really using it properly. But, you know, we, we're just having fun sharing, you know, our bits and pieces, you know, from our still daily. Still thirsty. The thirst trapping me. <laughs> he looks thirsty. Mm. <laughs> that, because my lips not as shiny as yours. No, it's not the shiny. It's like uh, give, me, you're... give me the water. Give me the, the give me the, the water. The spit but is not help, there. This can help me. I need I need lip gloss. See your lip gloss. The, your, all the lip gloss all over the water. That's why <laughs> but... I didn't want the water. You know. Sure. Lip gloss. Anyway, so while he takes a sip, because when he was talking, it's like he was struggling and he's trying to act brand new, no. like he don't want he doesn't want anything from me. I think what it is, I'm tired. Yeah, we're tired. I'm tired from honestly. Night. night life is really not for us. Mm. And the crazy things we didn't even stay out late. We mm-hmm. got in what like twelve, twelve a.m. Mm. and it's just uh energy just depletes. It's just it's not for me. I think yeah. I'm more into hotel flexes, um, um road tripping that type mm-hmm. of stuff, day flexes. But yeah, uh, we're 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 day flexers. Yeah, it's you know, very we need brutal. To do more day flexing and stuff like that. We need to go back to that. I mean, we're about to do some day flex today after the podcast. Yeah. We're going to try. But yes. But um, yeah, so we had 100,000K followers or 100,000 followers. And why, why I even did the K? Yeah. yeah. 100K. <laughs> yeah. So mm. that's a big um, milestone for us because we never really even, um, when we started this, this mm-hmm. was, that was not even really um, a goal for us. It was yeah. just like a fun thing. Yeah. And then when we started to realize the community that we have and the impact that's happening. And I also think um, Saf really enjoys vlogging. Like he's in his element. Mm. And um, a lot of people that, you know, would say, oh, he was quiet. He was shy. Mm-hmm. You get to now get to see like the real, real side of I him. Think, and Yeah. Everything. And I, I think, you know, uh, I enjoy making like the content and then mm-hmm. editing. Right. Because it, it kind of, you know, it 
you know, give them peace of mind, you know, mm-hmm. saying, you know, not that I'm under stress or anything like that, but it, it's just a way to like, you know, you sit down, you're in your escape. own space, you right. escape, and it's like you're editing the video and, you know, I, I, I start enjoying that. And, you know, I like tech, you know, tech stuff. So, mm-hmm. you know, um, that don't sound right, you know. What? Like, like tech stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, te- technical stuff. <laughs> I think you we... Know, like, you know, like stuff like that, you know? We, we got it. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, um, whether it's electrical or cars or whatever it is, the computer, I like, I like those stuff. Mm-hmm. So I think, you know, making the videos and trying to, you know, create new things and do new things, um, I like it. And I'll, I'm, I'm actually going to learn to do some more editing and stuff like that. So, nice. you know, I can, you know, we can do stuff like Expanding that. Expanding on the hobby. Yeah. I mean, for me, it isn't even um, with the phones. Like, it's mm-hmm. just so easy to just vlog with the phone. You have the fo- we have the phone all the time. Right. You know, I don't like to carry on the big, the, the camera and stuff like mm-hmm. that. It just look too obvious. <laughs> and today, and today's world, like the camera co- qualities mm-hmm. on our phones is... It, absurd it, it's so clear it's so good and each real. time it just keeps nice. getting getting um improvements better, exactly yeah. so mm. why not it's convenient mm. but i'm still getting used to that mindset of like walking around like if i'm in new york city and i have it and people i just feel awkward so i still haven't gotten over that hump mm-hmm. which is why i like this outlet a lot more because mm-hmm. it's like i get to sit here i get to talk i get to have real conversations where we were having a discussion this morning. And what did you say? How did you describe the two of us? You said hmm? this morning when you were describing, like, I will wake up and say, wow, I'm very passionate about this topic. Let's oh, <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> yeah. So I was I was I was just saying that, you know, we. In a sense, like I'm I'm more it's like so of a strange. joke, jokey, jokey person, like, you know, I wake up and I, and I want to make jokes, want to, you know, just play and stuff and have fun, you know, and, you know, I wake up and like want to work on the car. I want to fix something. I want to, you know, <laughs> do stuff like that. Do something on the house, do something on the house where you, you'd wake up and you're, it's like you're very, you know, into like life. Like, you know, you know, why are human beings <laughs> like this? Why, you know, why is it, why is that mother doing yeah. this? Why is that like you, you, you think very I deep. Think- yeah, I'm a yeah, deep you're, you're, person. Yeah, like you, you get very emotional and you, you know, start I'm thinking. I'm also empathetic. I yeah. think I'm an empathetic person. Yeah, so. But, um, yeah, and then I've just been reading a lot of like books. And mm-hmm. I guess for me, it's like, obviously, no family is perfect. Everybody is going to have some type of mm-hmm. like trauma. And um, it, to some people, it might be like they've been through more than the other, but hurt is hurt, you know. So we all have gone through some type of like dysfunction. We've been raised with that. So I guess for me, it's like, as you get older, you get to see certain patterns of yourself that you're like, okay, even if you didn't realize Mm -hmm. where it's from, now you're getting to realize when you start family, Mm -hmm. it starts showing up. So I guess for me, it's like, I've been reading books to just try and not put that on my kids, you know, so bettering myself, healing, doing the work. I think think, um, we're also, you were on your own. For a, a while, a yeah, long from while. the age We're, of what, 15? And for me, yeah, yes. and for me, like, I've always had help. I've always had, you know, mm-hmm. people around me, you know, where even when it comes to, like, going to school, you know, like, um, studying and stuff like mm-hmm. that. My brother, Nigel, was always, you know, there, you know, you study it, you do this, you do that, you do that. You always had people, even when I started going to university mm-hmm. like you know Nigel was there helping me making decisions and helping me do a lot of things so I I've always had people to help me make decisions mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know and help me you know to do a lot of things and then you know I became who I am today and still and when you know when I became who, who I was then I got more help and more it's help. still more I was about to say because even mm. in today even mm. in our marriage there's certain things that I'm like you just to say no to somebody, you can't mm-hmm. do that. So there's yeah. still a, a so, part where yeah. yeah, yeah. So you, so you, yeah, so you grow up and had to like fend for yourself after a while, you know, at a young age, you know. So it's like I think, 
you know, that kind of makes, you know, why you Our think mindsets like that. a little yeah, bit mindset different. different, you know, where you think and the way I think, where I just want to just have fast cars and work on fast cars and, you know, I just think give them boys a hard time. Yeah, where I think for me, it's like I'm just recognizing as I'm going into, you know, turning 30 that mm -hmm. a lot of the way we function with each other is emotional intelligence. Mm -hmm. And a lot of us lack that because we mm -hmm. were not raised to have that or it wasn't a priority. Yeah. You know, it was just like as long as you're being fed, as long mm -hmm. as you have clothes on your back, you, you mm -hmm. can get to school from point A to point B. Yeah. That's and it. And you're very you. concerned about how the world is going today. Well, <laughs> like you're very I concerned about be, the world. Because speaking you know? of that, I am on TikTok and I see this whole thing of like this man that set his wife on fire mm -hmm. because she was... Set her on fire? Yeah, she was washing his clothes instead of cooking for him. So a woman lost her life because a man was hungry while she was washing his clothes in the most painful way she could die. Mm -hmm. That's the way she passed away. So then it got me thinking that in society, we groom and raise women from like young age, young girls to be a wife. But we are lacking in the department of how to raise a man to be a husband. Only thing a man knows how to do is, hey, um, you know that you have to just provide financially. But it's mm -hmm. beyond that. You know, it's beyond that. It's keeping it's her safe, it, it's having a that. peace of mind. A uh, man also knowing emotional intelligence. It's beyond all it, of that, babe, because, you know, sorry, sorry to mm -hmm. cut you, because um, not everybody is growing up in that household um, with somebody who will teach them, teach men to do that or teach women to do all of that you know some um, mothers have to try and be fathers you know some fathers have to try and be mothers mm -hmm. and father you know so it, it kind of you know, difficult in a sense mm -hmm. to, to say you know we are not growing you know we're not growing no and when i say that there this is an example if a little boy picks up um okay so our sons have mm -hmm. cocoa melon Initially, if someone sees them with that, oh, you know, you're a boy, you're not supposed to play with that. So mm -hmm. how are they supposed to know how to be, like, get in tune with, like, being in love with something or mm -hmm. how to take care of someone mm -hmm. if, if you instantly are, like, taking that away from them? Because mm -hmm. instantly when they take up the doll and they pat the back, that's them showing love. That's mm -hmm. them showing comfort. But mm -hmm. if you take that away and say, here, play with a car instead... When they grow up, how do you expect them to translate that into showing a woman that, mm -hmm. hey, I can love you? Some days you might just need comfort. Some yeah. days you might just need a hug. Sure. Wait, and wait a minute. And another thing is like, I even try to um, not do that with our sons is the minute a boy falls. Let's say you have a boy and a girl. The minute a boy falls, don't cry. You're a man. Man up. Like we've taught boys from a young age to suppress. You can't have feelings. You cannot be hurt suck it up, and then all these emotions where they're just hanging on to it. Mm. Where a little girl, we pick her up instantly. All of, She gets all the pampering, right? So mm. men are being taught to suppress, like they don't have a voice. Your feelings doesn't matter. But then when they get older and like life happens and then they just go maniac and they can't handle it because it's just like a, a pop bottle. You shake it, eventually it's going to blow up. Mm. Why is it so bad for men to have emotions? Emotions is literally part of what makes us human. We just mm -hmm. need to teach young children how to express them in a healthier way, mm -hmm. how to express appreciation, how to express frustration. And even with me, I'm not perfect because sometimes even in our marriage, probably you talk and it's like, I'm not listening to your feelings because mm -hmm. we've all been programmed that men are not supposed to have feelings. They're not supposed to be hurt. You guys, it's like that part doesn't matter. And mm -hmm. if you show it, you're a wimp. Why are you a wimp? Because you have feelings. All of us have feelings. Yeah, I think you just have to learn to balance it, you know, teach kids how to balance it because we're, I'm guilty of, um, like a lot yes. of times where I say I'm equal and I'm like, yeah, Yo, you are. I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to rush and take him up because I say that he's fine. I'm like, you know, he can't get up. You know what I mean? It's not every time I'm going to run and pick him up and, oh, you know what I mean? I say, yo, get up. But I you think know? it's a matter so of expressing, you know? I mean, no, it's not like a shout and say, get up, you know, or yeah, man up or whatever. I just 
I see him fall, I say, he's fine. No, nothing is wrong with him, so I'm not going to rush and pick him up. So it's just to learn, to balance it. Some some men probably just grew up in a, in a household full of army people. or Some people grew up in a house with no love or some, something like that. So, you know, they, they don't know how to show love. You know, some men... Like I said, some men but probably grew up in the common, army where their you know, fathers, you know, say, man up this and whatever, but, whatever. whatever. Okay, and then, then that child grew up and do the same thing to Two their... seconds. It's not an army household, babe. I see it every day in normal no, I'm just households. giving you an example where some people might grow up in that type of household where some people grew up in that household with no, with, with no love. Some, like, different, you have different households, you know, people, people grew up in. Some people grew up in a house with just their mother and five other siblings mm -hmm. you know some grew up with both parents some grew up with just a father so it's different different um i think we've also, also been programmed as a society to think that's normal yeah of course. everybody that's doing this has just been a pattern we've all seen i see it all the time little kid drops get up boys don't cry we see it mm -hmm. all the time we hear about it all the time it's become like a social norm mm -hmm. everything is so a everything when they're program. husbands and they blow up or you see men killing women for all mm. you know for little to nothing just because they felt some type of ownership and then we as women you expect us to submit to men like this there's nothing wrong with submission mm. but we need to do more like for me i'm like okay on my part if my child falls i'm gonna go up to them make sure they're okay but also teach them to express themselves like what part of you is hurting why are you crying is mm. how can i help you in this situation because then we have grown men that just don't know how to communicate yeah, the, how they the, feel. That's what I'm saying. That's a mother in you. Where a child, well, if 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 I was the only one growing um our sons, mm -hmm. like they would grow, they would they would grow a lot tougher because they would grow tough because I, I don't have that 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 mother that you know that no, so motherly what, touch. But wait, what's not what's not what's not tough about being able to express the way you feel? Why well, is that is, you know, considered I'm, a weakness? No, it's not a weakness. Um, I'm just trying to explain. They would grow. They would. Mm -hmm. They wouldn't grow with that. That the, the tenderness that a mother could give them. I'm not saying I'm going to rough them up or make them tough. I'm just saying they're just going to grow, grow like that because it's just you a father. Grow, them see. Grow they don't see a father. They don't. Grow they don't know the like mother. They can't communicate. No one's express themselves. Yeah, or whatever <laughs> it is. Whatever, whatever it is. Growing with a father is like different from growing with a mother. I agree with both parents. I, I believe I could be wrong. And then also, like, even if we take it into um religion, when you go into a church, we have they have conferences for marriages and it's always geared towards women. Why are we not having more conferences that um is geared towards teaching men to be good husbands, teaching men to learn how to communicate, teaching men to Learn to be intuitive do. with their emotional they, intelligence. I think, have, I think they have it. It's more common for for women to go to conferences for marriage. The men, you will mm -hmm. see them in conferences if it has to do with business aspects. So when you say conference, where, where, they always have women, the women, the conferences like mm -hmm. at church. So the big churches, so they, they have, have the conferences. The, it, that's and different it's from the counseling. Yes, it's geared like uh, uh, towards whether it's like marriage, relationship, all of that stuff. But it's always geared towards for for women. So what? Um, so so what, what's, the, what's the what's the what's the what's the the relevance of that different like different from like marriage counseling? Like going to marriage counseling. I guess it's very similar because they're just teaching women like how to submit to your husband, how to be good wives. So I'm saying what's lacking is why are they... So let's say marriage counseling. A man is only going to go to that if him and his wife are having issues and mm -hmm. she suggested. Mm -hmm. Men are... I don't see much conferences as a whole happening for men that, hey, this is how to be a good husband. This is how you need to communicate. This is how... Like even in our big grown age, like mm -hmm. for a man to even just take the in initiative to say, hey, let's start this. <laughs> but it's just the way our society uh, yes, the builds, you know. I, I, don't, I, would, I don't see myself going to a conference. Exactly. It's the mm. patriotic society that but we're, we're I will living go to, in. But, but, but if we're having problems in our marriage and, we, and you suggest, both of us mm -hmm. say, yo, let's go to marriage council, I'll go. But to go to a conference, go sit down with, I mean, 
I, I wouldn't do that as a man. I, but I guess for me, this is just really troubling me because I'm just seeing too many like young women lose their lives over things that are just not even worth it because yeah. and lack of expression. It's like you say, we are we're suffocating men. Like you, you say, know it's, that. like you say, it's it's it's, it's um it's program like men. Men are programmed in that sense, and I mean it's a it's 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 a two way street. It's a two way street because if you are that type of woman who, let's say a man a man get you get you are a man in a relation relationship, and the way how you allow the man to treat you, uh, um, it's like I don't want to say nothing wrong, but I think if you allow the man to treat you like him own you. Mm-hmm. He's gonna then think him, him own you, so mm -hmm. you can't do nothing. You can't do nothing without his permission, pretty much. You know, so I think that's one of the issues nowadays. Men feel like them own women too much because, like, they must spend money. Like, they feel like it's a care. So they does must that, treat women like they must treat women like that. Like does cars. that excuse the man himself with his emotional it's trauma not that excusing, he had? Not excusing nothing. It's not because clearly anything. if you can't express yourself or you feel like it's a weakness to be like, oh, I can't express the way I feel towards this young lady. So instead, I'm going to show it's in aggression and all of that stuff. That's like you mm. are bottling so much in because, yeah, mm. of course, both parties are, mm. are not right. If you're going to come into the picture mm. and, you know, play with each other's emotions that way. But mm -hmm. I just feel like we need to have our men be seen, be heard. And know that, like, I you mean, know, their, their I mean, feelings matter as I well. I mean, men are being seen and being heard, but I guess where you, you, you mean is, like, in a like more emotional way, like, yeah, like men are feeling, treat men like they are feelings. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, treat them like they're feeling, because, I mean... That's I'm, what, I mean, for not, me, being seen is I can see you physically, mm -hmm. but if I don't know what's going on deep down inside, it's, it doesn't matter. All I see is just, like, the flesh. What mm. what matters is what's going on inside because that's what's going to translate into the way we work, the way every dynamic in a family works, the way it's going to... Because all of this stuff is like things that will be passed down to generation. We've all picked it up because like I said, I'm probably even... I'm so guilty of that. Mm -hmm. in, I and mean, when we even communicate without I mean, considering... I know, I, know, I know men have feelings. You know? Men do have feelings. You know, and um, I would just encourage people not to go into relationships that they're not happy you know, and not comfortable mm -hmm. or just just for financial reasons you know like those relationships cannot be healthy you know if if you're just going there because oh you have money and you can buy this for me and can buy that for me or you know it's not going to work like right. a lot of a lot of men out there with just very broken and like i said they right. need they, they probably need counseling you know but and us women also need to, um tread lightly because mm. like what you're saying yeah, then you it's like you're playing up. a dangerous yeah. game yeah. you know you're playing a dangerous yeah. game like uh, unfortunately for this young lady that lost her mm. life she was mm. washing his clothes mm -hmm. and a lot of, and a lot of it too um the, um these the, the some of the men make them emotion get the best of them because Emo they probably love lacking. they probably love no they probably end up loving so much and the person probably do so I like guess that what what you mentioned earlier was, is to yeah is, totally different. It's totally that, different. He is a maniac. Totally That's, different. Yeah. You know, but you know, some men get into relationships and them going all out, like them not leaving nothing, mm -hmm, no screw and mm -hmm. turn. And then them get hurt. And I think they just don't know how to manage that. You know, that's why you, you probably have, you know, people commit suicides and stuff like it. It, it mess with them. Brain. Yeah, both. If you're you going know. into a, a, a thing, a, a relationship, yeah. not having the right intentions, I think def definitely yeah. that's wrong. I don't wrong. think men know to manage them. That's wrong. Now. I don't think men, when men go in a relationship, all out, no, I don't think they know <laughs> how to I'm manage saying, like, a as, broken heart. I think as a whole, yeah, for sure. And as a whole, like men and women, some of us are really lacking emotional mm -hmm. intelligence. Because mm -hmm. maybe if we had that, then we would be more empathetic that, mm -hmm. okay, I won't put myself in this predicament to hurt this person. But I mm -hmm. think we're all just so selfish in our mm -hmm. needs and wants. It's about like, I, I, I. Instead of like yeah, a yeah. we thing, yeah. And I mean, everything's the thing transactional. Is, the thing is, uh, women, women are stronger than men in that sense. So when it comes yeah, to art, you know, it, <laughs> yeah. I don't know, I don't know. You know, some people will say, some people say, what, what do they say? Men 
I saw somewhere they say men settle for love while mm-hmm. women settle for for um, somebody who can take care of them. Well, a provider. Yeah. Oh, okay. So um, something like that. I hear I hear something like that. Somebody says something like that. <laughs> yeah. You're not trying but, to take credit for it. You're like, it's I, not I, me. I'm not, I'm not, I no, it wasn't me. It wasn't <laughs> me. But and you know, I'm just saying that to say, you know, um, men men do love and love hard and you have some men who love hard and don't know how to deal with the love when in a certain situation um it's like they they love so hard they figure say yo if it's not me then it's nobody else it have to be me and only me and if i can't have you nobody else can have you. and all of that also stems from childhood you know because mm. we always tend to just focus on like the present, which we should. But when it comes to like bettering yourself, mm-hmm. all of the little habits we pick comes from the past. It's stuff we've seen. Even if we unintentionally mm-hmm. picked it up, we've picked it up. Mm-hmm. You know, it could have just been, you have to remember whether it's like your parents, whether it's a nanny, whether it's like an auntie, whether it's like um, your neighbor that was taking care of you while your parents were away. All those people influence and impact who mm-hmm. you become as a whole. Like we've mm-hmm. picked up everything, right? Mm-hmm. So... If you have a habit where it's like you love hard and you think you have to have ownership, it's something that you were lacking from when you were young. Because we're mm-hmm. all, all of us are not perfect. We're all walking around with like unhealed trauma. Mm-hmm. Th- that's where the flaws like peek in sometimes, you know. Mm-hmm. So it's, I'm not a therapist, but just yeah. doing different reading and like um how to break mm-hmm. certain generational curses and stuff. It's by us just at a certain point taking ownership and just saying, I'm just going to go and do the Mm self-work. And the self-work is daily. That's a really good book I'm reading right now. Yeah, And, And, you know, being spiritually connected as well. Yeah, I mean, guys, like Alicia said, we're no therapists. Mm -mm. You know, it's just, we're (laughs) just, it's just, it's just um, what I think, you know, what she thinks. And, you know, so if you guys have your input, then, you know, share it. You know, if you you think we're wrong or maybe some part of it, kind of wrong or if we, if we don't mean, we, express it the right way we can then, agree to disagree yeah, because we're all so, entitled to our opinions mm-hmm. and you know that's so the beauty so it's of like it. we're just trying to figure out what's wrong with men in a sense and w- with society society and like is that, just so. and just giving them more yeah. love like young yeah. boys more love yeah. as you know as they grow and i think if we did that things would just better mm. itself same thing with like young ladies these days like if we're teaching them more self-love and stuff, they <laughs> won't go looking for love in like the wrong places mm. as well. Because I think at this point, it's like, I don't know, the struggle is very mm. real. And but I mean, like a lot of the things that, you know, I think a lot of the things that are going on kind of drifting away from mm-hmm. the conversation. Like a lot of the things that are going on in the world, it's not necessarily in the entire world. Mm-hmm. It's just, I, I believe it's just one specific country and then that just drain off, you know. On trickles every, down trick, into on every Yeah, so it's like we see we, we see things every day. Like we see women doing this, doing that, doing that, doing all of these crazy things. But it's just in one country, pretty much. And we just, you know, that country has the world power. So everybody just figures it's happening in the entire world. You know, we're, you know, we... We 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 don't have to do do the same thing that you know some other countries do or right. whatever, whatever we don't, rules. We don't they, need to be like brainwashed. Yeah, or have to feel, yeah, we don't need to be brainwashed. Yeah, exactly. We don't need to be <laughs> brainwashed, and we don't need to follow the trend that is going on in America. Let me say it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. We don't need to follow everything. Everything that is changing, the changing every every single thing, the changing, um, a certain you know people changing or whatever. So we don't need to follow. That's why it's even more necessary Mm -hmm. just to know your identity Mm -hmm. and just hold strong onto who you are and just don't waver because society is always constantly changing Mm -hmm. and you can't just change with the ways. You know, obviously we have to adapt to things, but the the core values. The reason why I I said that too is that social media is so accessible, like young kids accessing social media and they see everything that is going on. Mm -hmm. They see everything that is going on and they're not going to choose. They're not going to choose. A, a, like, how often you see people choose a role model from Jamaica? They choose a celebrity that they see, you know, 
Um, like in America. And yeah, in stuff America. That like somebody choose face? Beyonce to be a role model. Somebody choose, you know, certain people. So it's like, it's like they choose. They choose role models based off of what they see. What's trending right what's now. What's trending and all that stuff. And so they also have to be careful with with kids. Like I said, kids pick up pick things from everything that they see. You know, and you know, you have to decide what age group you let you open up things to Man, kids. parenting is very hard. Because mm. like you're like I'm figuring me out. I'm figuring out like who I'm gonna be in my 30s, mm. um, accomplishing my dreams while ensuring that my little ones, I'm still being attentive to them, making sure their needs are being met as well as who they want to become, their future goals and aspirations yeah. are also being met. So it's like, I have mine, he has his, we have our kids' dreams as well, everything we're trying to make happen. Mm-hmm. So parenting doesn't come with a manual. Mm-mm. We we do the best it's we can thing, do, but... It's the thing where the CEO of TikTok doesn't let his kids use TikTok. Yeah, he doesn't. Mm-hmm. Because he knows the power that TikTok has. And, and he knows the reach, e- the reach that TikTok has. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, that, that, so, so young kids, young kids shouldn't be on social media yet. Yeah, not yet. Yeah. I I wouldn't allow my kids to. It's forcing you know, but I can't. forcing them to grow up. You know. Yeah. Forcing kids to grow up, forcing them to be, you know, adults. Like kids, kids can make certain decisions on their own. Like you can't make a kid make one decision then be biased when they when they want to make a next decision. Mm-hmm. You know, so you know some some topics. You know, some topics. Some things you stay away from because you don't want to get cancelled. <laughs> Oh God, cancel so, culture. So, <laughs> so, so I'm, I'm just saying, kids cannot make decisions on their own. Kids, right. kids don't know what they want. At yeah, their minds age. is constantly changing yeah. and stuff. So, I think it's like once they reach 18, then they mm. kind of get a little a sense of an identity. Our job is to make sure we're leading them the right path mm-hmm. and helping them find who their identity is, like mm-hmm. who they are, who are you, you know. And mm-hmm. pouring love into them. And mm-hmm. yeah, like certain conversations should just be strictly adult conversations mm-hmm. because kids are sponges. Mm-hmm. I've been around kids that would be saying things that they don't even really know what it means. But mm-hmm. for whether they're like four years old or whatever it is, they're saying it. And all of that, they've soaked it in that it becomes their personality. And that's already been drilled in their ears because they've overheard conversations that, you know, they shouldn't have, have heard. Mm-hmm. So... That's my two cents where everybody is, you know, mm. entitled to their parenting styles and everything. But yeah, you just. Yeah, I'm not saying that always is the best or yours, you know, the worst <laughs> or nothing like that. But we know that we are doing, we are doing we something. We try, right. you we know, try, we, we try. try and we're doing try, our best. Try, try, try. <laughs> and, you know, it will, it will, it will show in the, in the near future. Yeah, try and pray. And mm. you have to pray because these kids will test your patience. Mm. Mm. <laughs> this new generation of kids. Yeah. And what oh, I like, God. what I like is that Amik, um, Amik is actually getting to learn a lot of different things. So he's, he's Amik still, Amik goes to, they have church at the school. Mm-hmm. They teach them, you know, certain things, and he's getting all of that. So him, him getting all that knowledge, yeah, you know, um, from a young age where some kids don't even know what the Bible is, right. what church it's is, strayed. what whatever. You know, yeah. Like you have to learn um, all these things as kids. Yeah, to I would say, understand. I would say one know. thing is all your kids know church for sure. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but it's important just to like, you know, have a good head on your shoulders and everything. Mm. But yeah, I mean, even in like today's world, like we make mistakes, but that can't, we can't let that define us. We we fall down, but we always have to get back up. Mm. We're going to get back up. I mean, just... like, um, <laughs> you have to make mistakes, huh? I have yeah. to make a lot of mistakes because if I if I didn't make a lot of mistakes, mm-hmm. if I if I wasn't in certain um era yeah. of my life at a certain point, maybe I would I wouldn't I wouldn't I wouldn't have met you. You mean if you were messing with Toronto girls? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, like I said, all right, if I right, all right, two you guys thousand, know I'm always two thousand, he, he knows I'm gonna take a dig at him every single time. Yeah, you know? yeah, whatever. But <laughs> what I'm saying, when I say certain things in yeah, my no, life, I like get it. if I didn't get certain injuries. Right. You know, if I if I didn't, you know, probably go to certain um 
compulsion to be in, like in a Toronto. in that location yeah. or to be, you know, like our past probably wouldn't wouldn't have crossed. So yeah, we have to make you have to you have to make mistakes. You know, you have to be dis- you have to get you have to go through disappointments. Some of them to. guys are avoidable. Mm-hmm. Don't sign up for a yeah. mistake that you cannot handle. Think through every single thing. Because mm-hmm. I agree with you. <laughs> we have to add that part. I agree. Because I don't want a young person listening mm-hmm. to this and saying. Hey, yes, it is okay to make mistakes, but some of them. That's that's why that's why I'm I'm pointing out the mistakes, you know, <laughs> what, what I consider as mistakes right, and right. and my and 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 disappointments. Right. You know, so I I you know yeah. Just be be <laughs> smart with with stuff. Be of course, smart. as with life, you will make mm-hmm. mistakes, but some of them. You know, if your parents are telling you this is not a good idea, all of that stuff, sometimes mm. it's better to listen than mm. learn the hard way with certain, you know, mistakes. Some of them are avoidable. And mm. if you go into that mistake, some of them you can't take back. Mm-hmm. It's imprinted on you forever. So, yeah, be yeah, <laughs> this, this, the, the, the new generation really need to, really need to wise up and, mm-hmm. you know, really stay focused and because yes. um people i don't think people want to work these days you know kids kids growing up they they they, they figure out they can't make money on youtube they can't make money do this do that without even you know without working pretty much mm-hmm. you know so they figured out a, a better system sometimes it's not for the bad you know I mean, but yeah, it's, it's not, not all yeah. of us that will have like mm-hmm. i think it's like to teach them how to have plan a plan b mm-hmm. money management is so important yeah. because our generation lack that because a mm-hmm. lot of us are you're the first person to be a rich person in mm-hmm. your family and mm-hmm. a lot of mistakes would be made through that because you see a bulk of money coming mm-hmm. in and you're you're spending spending here spending yeah. that without investing to grow mm-hmm. that wealth you know so yeah not because your friend your friend your <laughs> your friend your friend you see your friend doing youtube and your friend probably say you make a lot of money on youtube um but your friend probably is it, that is art. Mm-hmm. That is art. Right. Not not art. That is <laughs> the art. accent. <laughs> yeah, that is art. Like he's very talented in passionate that. Passionate about he's very it. Passionate. Like yes. like for me, like um, an example. Um, let's say me and my friend in high school, and I say I want to run track. Mm-hmm. I want to run track because I'm fast. You can just say you want to run track as well, and you don't have no, you don't have the talent. Mm-hmm. You know, so if somebody pick up media. They have the passion for it. They have the the talent. They have the eye for it, and all that stuff. You can just say, "I go pick up media." The first thing you don't even know what to say. You don't know what to right. shoot. You don't know what to do. So, not everybody, not everybody. This is not for everybody. Some people have to actually do real work. I mean, that's you know? why we have different career paths. But mm. I guess I mean, also all of it don't, is real work. No, so, sorry, don't, it's all real work. Yes, it's all yeah. work because yeah. it's even doing podcasts, vlogging, mm. all of it's that work. is time it's consuming. It's a lot of work. So everything is work. Everything is hard work. But I guess mm. whatever it is you're doing, make sure you're passionate about it. That's what you were mm. trying to say. Mm. Make sure it's your passion. And I, I don't knock if you want to try different things. Mm-hmm. To find who you are as well, but, but don't um, follow, follow. have yeah, have plan A, plan mm. B, plan C, you know, and then just find be smart your, with. I think your niche. if I had to give anyone advice right now that's young listening, it would be that, and as well as money management. Mm. I won't stop talking about that because it's so important. That's why you see so many, whether it's athletes or artists. Um, make so much money and then they end up broke because they weren't thinking that at a certain point in time that contract might end, you're going to retire. Because if you choose to be an athlete, you're going to have to retire early. Mm -hmm. Whether you're an artist as well, you just don't know when you stop um, Mm -hmm. trending or the how long your career spam is going to be. So it's just learning money management and how to make sure whatever you've made can carry you through and how do you double that? How do you triple that Mm -hmm. as well? So that would be my my two cents. Whatever career path you choose, make sure because we're not really taught that in school. I don't know if it's changed now, but I wasn't taught that even with taxes and <laughs> everything. People teaching themselves no ideas. Yeah, so <laughs> I mean, we have access mm. to so much now. So money I think, yeah, management. I think, yeah, I think in in um the newer generation, I think I, I think they they do it. I, I don't know, but they're probably I, better than I think they're like better us. Than us. 
My yeah. I'm a millennial and mm. yeah, we, I think I think they're leave. better than us because um there's so there's so much more opportunities. Like I say, YouTube. This you know TikTok, people people if you can cook, you everything. can start a cooking channel on YouTube. Right. Like you don't you don't have to wait until a, a program to go on TV anymore to do a, a cooking thing. Like you can just create your own thing and I think put it to the world. So opportunities so you can create your own yeah, opportunities. Yeah, you can create your own opportunity. You know, if you love cars, you can you know vlog yourself driving. Right. You can do whatever. If you love kids, you can create your family channel and yeah. show you, you know show you treat, take care of your kids. Yes, There's so yes. much so much more opportunities. And before you have to go to college and get degree. Yeah. And if you don't get degree, dog name us up or you have to drive right. taxi or go try to mechanic or something. But I like the fact know? that the opportunities are there now mm. for the younger generation. So, you know, we just be passionate. Find yourself. So there's so many. Mm. Honestly, it's like there's so much opportunities, endless opportunities that you you shouldn't just sit there and say, like, oh, you know, big mm. question mark mm. or the work ethic as well has to be there. Like in mm. all of these career paths, you mm. still have to, that's where passion falls into it. If you're passionate about what you do, it doesn't feel like work. Of course, you're going to be exhausted and mm. stuff. And just because you start making money doesn't mean you stop working. All of these big people we see, whether it's Beyonce, Kevin Hart, they have multiplied what they have because they never got comfortable with, oh, I'm here now and I'm wealthy. That cannot be the like mindset mm -hmm. because you want to create gen generational wealth, especially if you're the first person mm -hmm. in your family to be rich. Find a way to double that, triple that. You already have the income coming. Just, you know, invest it mm -hmm. properly and associate yourself with a winning team. And when I say winning team is if you're around people that are winning, that keep multiplying what they have, it pushes you and it opens your mindset to, hey, it doesn't end here. There's so much more I can do for my family, my kids, my kids' kids. That's the way you just get to thinking, you know. So the magnitude of that can grow. And when you're around people that can help educate you in that aspect, man, next level. Okay, Miss Deep. Okay, Miss Deep. <laughs> anyway, Miss Deep, I, you know, I feel I feel like he's sitting here saying, "Man, I should have met Alicia from way back." Hmm? <laughs> I mean, I, 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 yeah, of course. Um, I'm teasing him, of course, but but I you know, so. God said I wasn't ready yet. Okay, mm -hmm. He needed to take time mm -hmm. to you know create me. <laughs> yeah, but. Yeah, we are you know about to make a move now. We're gonna run out yeah. of town. So hopefully next we'll time catch. we mm. sorry to interrupt you, but next time we have this conversation, we're back, we're talking and everything. I will not be in shades. Mm. And I want to add lastly, if anybody that watches like the visual part, if you know you're at work or you know you're driving back from home, just go on Apple, go on Spotify, mm -hmm. and you can just listen to it. Yeah, you can just listen while you're driving or while you're working yes. or while you're doing, or exercising. You exercising know, uh, is what you said? If you want to say exercising, sure. <laughs> uh, anything you want to say, you know, that's why I'm not going to give you a, a drink and I'm honey, you know. I know you're, you're warm to drink the honey. Oh, so we God. can. Guys, he's afraid of this honey. That he got that's apparently supposed to recharge his batteries. He's scared. Yeah, He's scared of the my honey. My battery is a lifetime battery. He's hiding no, no, it. No, need no <laughs> recharging. <laughs> I can't I can see some of the older guys saying, yeah, that's what you think until you get to your <laughs> yep. 60s. <art." laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> that's true. The honey, yeah, when I get to those ears, I start drinking the honey. Okay, if you say so. <laughs> All right, guys. So <laughs> thanks for joining us today. On another episode on the fast lane lifestyle. Fast lane lifestyle. Yeah. But whatever that, whatever that was. <laughs> we'll see you guys soon. Don't miss a beat. <laughs>